All right, hi guys, welcome back. My name's Kuhn. We're going through and we're trying to cover everything regarding all the things and all the settings that go along within it. So as we are, I think we've covered the general tab as well as the um, filters tab, right? Yeah, so we've we've gone through in previous videos and kind of covered everything here as well as there. Um, today for this video, we're gonna cover the seasonal section of unobtainables, uh, our, of the unobtainable tab. So the easier way to go through and read this is rather than just seeing it as filter seasonal items, try to read it as like filter seasonal items out. And it makes it a little bit more intuitive that way. Um, so, you know, if we go through and if you're looking for most of these, they can sometimes be broken into events here or holidays. Most of them are within the holiday section. So if we open this up, um, the easier way to go through and see it would be, say, for example, with Lunar Festival. Um, if we didn't want to track Lunar Festival, we would go through and check on it, which is this thing right here. So let's pretend that we don't want to track Lunar Festival or the um, Love is in the Air holiday. So if we go through, check on that, check on that as well, you notice that they're removed from the, um, the tracking at that point in time. A lot of people, well, I say a lot, some people will go through and they'll, they'll remove the seasonal tracking from their progression um, I think the overall reasoning behind it is that they only have a one, two, maybe sometimes three week window to to obtain those items. And outside of that, there's no chance to go through and get them. So, uh, you know, there's everybody has their own reasoning as far as how they track what they track. But at least this should show how to go about doing that. And um, I for me personally, I tend to track everything regarding the holidays year round it just kind of helps me keep track of what i need to go through and chase down and stuff that i don't so um that being said one thing i do exclude one thing that i do not track as far as the completion of stuff is the wow anniversaries reason being is that many of your wow anniversaries come with items whether that's transmog whether it's pets whether it's mounts or maybe even achievements that are specific to that year. And at that point in time, once the holiday ends, it becomes unobtainable. So I've just gone through and filtered it out just to not have to worry about it or think about it. You know, if it's not in the game, who cares, right? So at that point in time, we'll let that ride. Um, if if you wanted to go through and click on a toggle all, that would essentially go through and remove, remove everything. I'm not gonna do that just because we have it set up the way we want to track it at the moment. But again, um, one thing to make note of is sometimes you have your little mini holidays. So say, for example, like Trial of Style. So we have all of, you know, season one, two, and four. Um, so if we went through and we didn't want to track that type of stuff, uh, we could just exclude that once again this way. Um, some of those things, let's see, yeah, there we go. Um, some of those things will, will be more impactful than others, but at least that's how it's more or less set up. Um, again, some of the other stuff is also within events. And I want to say the key one being time walking. Some of your time walking stuff is right about, if you go into event, right about there. And so, you know, as far as the tracking of that goes, that's available there. Um, so this is pretty a short little video. Hopefully that helps a little bit. Like I said, when it comes to seasonal and the tracking, uh, tracking within it, sometimes it can be a little unintuitive, but... Um, that's the best way to go about reading it is see it as filter seasonal items out and then whatever is under that is the stuff that's getting removed. But anyway, hopefully that helps out. Until uh, the next time, you guys take care. I'll see you soon.